Hi everybody, thank you for joining us today. My name is Darren Alvarez and I am the General Manager of ResearchGate Scientific Advertising Solutions. I appreciate you all being here today. Abigail? Thank you, Darren. My name is Abigail Mela and I represent ResearchGate Scientific Recruitment Solutions. Thank you so much for being here with us at this time. We hope that the data and insights we share with you here provide value to you and other decision makers who are grappling with the impact of the coronavirus on society. First, let's be clear. There is no precedent to the pandemic in our hyper-connected age, and its effects are terribly disruptive on many levels. As the number of COVID-19 cases continues to increase, governments around the world are imposing necessary measures to contain and mitigate the spread of the coronavirus disease. This includes travel bans, school and workplace closure, event cancellation, and compulsory remote office, impacting everything from the global economy to our very social fabric. While many STEM professionals are on the front lines of the pandemic, battling the global crisis in hospitals, medical research labs, drug development research centers, and more. We also wanted to understand more generally how COVID-19 is impacting the scientific research population. As the world's network for scientists and researchers, we felt it was our responsibility to check in with our community and understand their needs and concerns at this time. On Wednesday, March 18th, we opened up a survey within our professional network of 16 million registered members, asking researchers to share how the coronavirus is impacting their work. We closed the survey late Thursday, March 19th, after collecting more than 3,000 responses in this 24-hour window. The data derived from this survey forms the basis of this webinar. Based on our own desk research, we believe this to be amongst the largest surveys of how the global research community is being impacted by the coronavirus to date. And <clears throat> as you can see here, we surveyed researchers representing a variety of career levels, with the largest cohort by far being those with postgraduate degrees, which reflects our own proprietary data about our registered members. Survey respondents represent all areas of science, with the largest cohorts being life science, like medicine or biology, and applied sciences like engineering or computer science, which also closely aligns with our own proprietary data about our registered members as well. Our survey also offered researchers the opportunity to share their thoughts via an open form field. From this qualitative data, we are hearing that the scientific community is currently in a transition phase. Many researchers are still dealing with the effects of working from home, balancing professional responsibilities, and also tending to children. And they're being challenged to work in new ways. They're also making contingency plans for their current research, much of which is now paused due to social distancing measures. So what you see here in this next slide is an overview of the data we collected related to scientists and researcher activity at this time. In this webinar, we'll provide a deeper dive into these figures, breaking down each data point one by one. They range the gamut from a complete drop-off in conference attendance, as you see on the bottom left, to increased scientific literature discovery and reading, as you see on the top right. We'll also offer our hypotheses about how these current behaviors might inform and have a more lasting impact on future research activity, with a surge in digital collaboration being among them. Our data indicates that scientific activity is not declining, but it is shifting to new activities. For instance, nearly half, or one in two, of the researchers we surveyed are spending more time now searching for and reading scientific research than they were before the pandemic, 
They're also spending more time writing, submitting, and peer reviewing scientific papers. Admittedly, we did see an initial drop in our platform metrics dur during the initial panic phase of the pandemic. However, within the ResearchGate network, scientists and researchers are registered members. They are actually spending more time on site with an average session duration having increased by 4.4% since early February through Friday, March 20th, 2020, according to ResearchGate propriety data. By way of comparison in 2019, during the same period, average session duration increased by 1.3% only. These recent metrics mark a significant increase in terms of site engagement. And you can also see here that of the international researchers who report working from home, which is 67% of the researchers surveyed, of this 10 or this 67%, they're now 10% likelier than usual to log into ResearchGate than those who do not report working from home due to the coronavirus lockdown. And this makes sense. Because these scientists are plugged in, they're spending time discovering new research, connecting with their scientific community, and checking out stats about the impact of their research work, among other activities. While a third of the researchers are spending less time searching for or purchasing lab equipment, as most labs are closed or inaccessible, Nearly half of the researchers, or one in two of them, report that they are collaborating with other scientists as much or much more than they were before the pandemic started. <laughs> Over time, as the scientific community adapts to the temporary reality of working remotely, digital scientific collaboration has the potential to increase. Researchers are telling us that this crisis is opening up, quote unquote, more informal, faster cross-institution correspondence. This is a direct qu quote from a researcher who responded to our survey. This moment potentially establishes a new standard for even more digitally collaborative research moving forward. In summary, researchers are certainly struggling with the lack of access to their facilities. However, the data suggests that this activity is being substituted with more focused writing, planning, publishing, and analysis. Scientists are looking for best practices to increase their research activity and output while working remotely. Other researchers have increased the time spent planning for future research and are spending more time analyzing older data sets that were previously sitting in backlogs. While the pandemic certainly dominates the public conversation, researchers also maintain their focus on the future in terms of professional development based on our data. Nearly half of the researchers indicate they are actively looking for career opportunities. Similarly, one in two researchers are keeping up to date with the work that's happening at other scientific research institutions. Like all of us, the coronavirus pandemic and its effects on our governments, economies, schools, workplaces, and societies is indisputable. The majority of respondents, 82%, also report that their scientific research work is being impacted at this time. You can see that researchers in some of the regions hit hardest by the coronavirus report being most impacted by it, including regions like North America and Europe. That said, the pandemic highlights the critical nature of the work produced by the scientific community, perhaps more so than ever before in our age. In this light, companies and institutions are well positioned to help scientists and researchers adapt to these new ways of working and to support their scientific output during uncertain times. The call to participate in open, hyper-collaborative science with the age of digital tools is stronger and clearer than ever before for the benefit of humankind and our habitat. Based on our survey data from 3,000 researchers, scientific 
researcher activity in our network and active social listening, we predict the lockdown and the race to combat the coronavirus will have a lasting impact on the world scientific community, ultimately for the better. We hypothesize that because researchers are currently in a reading and planning mode, there will be an increase in new research topics or movement into new research areas in the coming months. Additionally, given that there are so many researchers being pushed into the current planning and preparing mode, they will likely be spending highly concentrated time in the lab once the workplace opens up again. Finally, we anticipate that there will be a surge in publication submissions in the upcoming months as researchers are currently focused on reading and writing. Our data also suggests that researchers will begin more freely sharing data sets and preprints, engaging in more real-time science through discussion forums and research project updates, and also more actively collaborating with one another across organizations. One example of this type of digital collaboration is actually how researchers are engaging the topic of the coronavirus on our platform. Right now, there are more than 13,000 publication pages, including early stage research related to coronaviruses. Further, 10,500 scientists have authored papers related to coronavirus. And finally, there are more than 3,000 questions and answers between registered members related to coronaviruses on ResearchGate. By digital tools, researchers can instantly connect with the publications, data, and researchers they need to advance their work and combat COVID-19. Right now, it's time for organizations that enable researcher activity. Whether academic institutions, companies, labs, hospitals, research societies, or NGOs, to ensure that scientists get the help from you that they need during this critical moment. Your organization's strategy, engagement, and outreach must adapt in order to best serve the global research community. And rather than going silent, you have an opportunity to build a lasting connection in a time of need. We are here to help. You can reach out to a ResearchGate account manager to learn more about how your strategy can even better serve scientists and researchers at this time. And further, please read our Coronavirus Impact on Researcher Activity Insights Report, which provides detailed information and data about researchers' behavior and needs during the pandemic. Thank you so much for being here with us today, and best of luck to you, your colleagues, and your families.